Hi Taurus, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, why did your person stop communicating with you? Why did your person stop communicating with you? So of course, this reading is not going to be for all of you. Uh, this is just for those Tauruses who were dealing with someone who stopped communicating, who stopped messaging you, texting you, calling you, um, or um, for those of you who have been trying to message and communicate with your person and they're just not responding to you. All right, so let's go ahead and find out why this is. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Spirit Angels and Guides, why did this person stop communicating with Taurus? All right, Taurus, first card we have for you here is Page of Pentacles in Reverse, Eight of Swords in Reverse, the Page of Swords in Reverse, the Strength card upright. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo, with a Capricorn Virgo or, or another Taurus. We also have Ace of Swords in Reverse, could have been a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. We have Five of Pentacles, the King of Cups in Reverse, the Four of Cups, and the Sun card upright. Could be any sign, okay? We have Tower at the bottom of the deck, that's Scorpio. So I am getting here that this person, even though they're not communicating with you, they are stalking you or spying on you, watching you, or just really heavily thinking about you with the Page of Swords in reverse. They are resisting communication, even though they really want to communicate with you. The Five of Pentacles does suggest that this person has a, re has a really negative um, mentality. This is, a, this is the card of poverty. So they have a really poor way of... of perceiving things or of, you know, thinking about things. It's a, it's a lacking mindset. They feel like they lack. Yeah. Uh, the Four of Cups here is kind of a... Um, a self-pitying type of energy. I mean, the opportunity here is um, being presented to this person with the Ace of Cups here, but the person is just kind of crossing their arms around um, um, over their chest here and not really not really um, saying anything or doing anything or reacting in any way. They're, compl they're complaining about something here. Um, they don't feel satisfied with, with the opportunity that is in front of them. I feel like this is someone who 
might be taking you for granted. They might feel like everything needs to be absolutely perfect in order for them to be happy. And that's just not possible, right? Because nothing is perfect. But I feel like this person has a little bit of a, a negative attitude here. They are repressing their emotions with the King of Cups in reverse. And they are blocking themselves from happiness with the Sun card here. All right, let's see if we can figure out uh, a little bit more details here. Why is this Four of Cups here, Spirit? Tell me about the Four of Cups. What is it that they are unsatisfied with? Or di dissatisfied? some of you this person is scared of poverty or yeah they're scared to be poor or they're scared to be bankrupt for some reason they're scared to to lack financial support they feel like they don't have the resources the financial resources that they would like Okay, tell me about the Four of Cups, please. We have the Three of Wands. For some of you, there's distance between you and this person. What else? And the King of Cups in reverse. Okay, so for some of you, this person is scared of change because the Three of Wands is kind of expanding your horizons, you know, putting yourself out there, taking taking a chance, taking a leap of faith towards um, a new beginning or towards the unknown. Because um, in this card, this person is looking out into the horizon and they they don't really know what's out there. So it requires um, it requires faith. It, it requires you trusting, trusting the universe. So this person has a lack of trust here. They might they might want to just stick to the same routine of their life. To they want to stick stick to their comfort zone I feel that's what they're doing right now they're trying to they're trying to play it safe and I feel like that's that's how they're blocking themselves from happiness because they're they're playing it safe they're they're staying in their comfort zone they're staying in their little box And they're not, they don't have the courage here with the strength card. It's a card of courage to, to go beyond their um, present circumstances and take a chance towards a new beginning. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles spirit. Clarifying the Five of Pentacles, we have the Strength card again. Heavy Leo energy here. And we have the Lovers in Reverse, okay. And Gemini energy here. Might be dealing with a Gemini. So you see they're kind of sabotaging this, this soulmate connection here with the Lovers in Reverse. 
it's they have the power because the strength card is a very powerful energy um if they wanted to if they wanted to take control um they could you know but they're making it seem like they're powerless here with the five of pentacles um they have you know they have that type of mentality of feeling powerless but the truth is very different the truth is that they do have the power you know they just have to believe in themselves and believe in this relationship and this connection and then the rest will just fall into place you know but that's where their problem is they're not trusting um they're not trusting in you or in themselves yeah they're not trusting you and they're not trusting themselves either hmm. i feel like they're just coming up with a whole bunch of obstacles you know they're thinking of the worst case scenarios that don't really exist or that you know are not really realistic. For some of you, it's something connected to money, though, because I'm looking at the person in the strength card, looking at, looking down to this five of pentacles. So again, this person might be scared of poverty in some way, or scared of not having enough money or resources of or support but yeah all right Taurus so let me take a, um, a couple of cards from the hidden oracle deck hidden truth the hidden truth oracle deck I wish I could take back my words. I wish I could take back my words. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we do have the Ace of Swords in reverse at the center of the spread. So for some of you, this person's last words were not were not really good words or um, it was harsh. They communicated in a harsh way with you the last time you two spoke or they told you something that ended up not being true it was it was a lie and you know now they don't now they're scared to talk to you because they know that they would need to apologize and they might not be ready for to apologize here because there's a strong ego energy here with strength card and strength card twice um, uh, this person can be carrying a, a, a strong ego, a big ego. All right, let's take another card. I left you before you could leave me. I left you before you could leave me. So, okay, so for some of you, this person, like the card says, left you before you could leave them. Let's see what else. It's time for me to heal now. I wish I had treated you better. All right, Taurus, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.